After I got out of college uh, with a degree in physics at the University of Minnesota, I found a job as a design engineer for an instrumentation company. And I liked it so well, I worked there for 37 years, during which time the company grew from a very tiny one to a very large one. But part of the work of design engineering at one phase of the company's growth, uh, we would bid on uh, specifications for to customers. And these were one of a kind designs, so uh, it, it wasn't anything you'd put in a catalog to sell to everybody. One of the problems with that was that the specifications didn't really say what the customer wanted, so somebody had to go out and visit them and say, now that we have this contract, what do you really want? So I did that a few times, and one particular trip that I'm remembering was in the late 1970s to Los Angeles to a uh, engineering company, a design company that uh, had really fancy offices and uh, lots of engineers that had their own offices, which uh, I'd never heard of before. The company I worked at, you were all in one big room. Well, I had brought Liz along because uh, I figured we could spend an extra few days in Los Angeles and uh, my plane fare and hotel room was paid for. So I came up with enough money to buy her a plane ticket and we both took off. The local salesman for the our company met us and took me to the engineering company and we spent all day haggling over things. and That worked fairly well. But after we were done, the uh, salesman offered to buy me a drink. So I said, well, I got a, a woman back at the hotel, uh, buy her a drink too. So uh, we went to the hotel and picked Liz up and uh, uh, Liz had been reading a book while I was gone all day about some of the fine points of evolution that are still unresolved. And so she was full of evolution talk. Uh, and this salesman got so excited he could hardly sit in his chair. And he said, well, you've got to meet my wife, so we're going to go all go out to dinner. So uh, uh, Liz, I think, was a little nonplussed by getting such a response. I certainly never respond to when she tells me what she's reading. And uh, he drove us to his house, which was about 30 miles away from uh, the hotel, and uh, picked up his wife, and we drove another 50 miles to a restaurant. Now, his wife was really excited to meet somebody who uh, was absolutely convinced that evolution was a uh, invention of Satan, and I don't know how that had gotten across from a, a few minor technical issues about the theory, but uh, she gave us this long lecture uh, all the way to the restaurant during the meal and all the way back again about uh, revelation and the end times coming and how uh, you had to interpret the symbols of it and look for what is happening right now that means that the end of the world is at hand. Liz didn't say anything. Uh, one of the puzzlements was uh, about insects that I mentioned somewhere in Revelation, and this woman had figured out that they must be talking about helicopters. So after the meal, in which, as I say, Liz was unusually quiet, uh, they drove us back, and on the way, which was only a little ways out of the way, uh, showed us their church in Anaheim, and it was right next to Disneyland, and it was a gigantic concrete structure uh, designed to look like a gospel tent. Uh, this is, later these things were called mega churches, but at the time I'd never seen anything remotely like it before, and 
Uh, since I didn't watch Sunday morning television, I didn't know that there were people like that in the world, uh, taking in every word of what these preachers were yelling about. So uh, we went home. That's really the end of the story. Uh, this was the first inkling I'd ever had that the country had gone mad, and I had no idea how much worse it was going to get. That's it. Okay.